Hey everybody, this is Jesse with HGC One Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you some must-know features on your HGC One M8. This is the HGC One M8. This is the follow-up to last year's model, the M7. Both models are called the HGC One, but this one's called the M8. This is the new model. This is a great phone. I'm going to show you some features that you have to know about when you're using this device. The first thing you should know is that you don't even have to use the power button to unlock the device. You can just double tap on the screen to get to your lock screen. This is very similar to the LG G2. It's a great feature because the power button is at the top. It's kind of awkward, kind of hard to get to. The other thing you can do is you can slide straight up on the device and then I'll take you in right past the lock screen to your home screen if you don't have security enabled. If you do, it'll just take you to the lock screen and you'll unlock it. You can also swipe to the right, which will take you into Blink Feed, um, another shortcut that you can use. You can also swipe down, which will take you to HGC's uh, smart dial. You just say name and who you want to call and, uh, and you can use that feature. Another shortcut that you can use is you can pick the phone up, turn it on its side into landscape mode, and hold in the volume down key to launch straight into the camera. That's another thing you should check out. Um, one thing you should know is that if you do unlock your phone doing the, the double tap or any other method, you can't lock it again by double tapping or doing anything to turn the phone back off. You actually have to use the power button. Once you've actually unlocked your device and you're using it, there's a couple features you should know about. One is that this quick settings here, you see these tiles. Um, actually, HUC now, you can customize these, which is a really handy feature to have. Before, you need a custom ROM to use these, um, which is something that people really use custom ROMs for, is to be able to organize what uh, toggles you actually want to use. So if you pull down this drop down menu, either by using one finger and hitting the icon, or using the two, the two finger gesture, just tap this icon that looks like a pencil. And then you can hold in these uh, icons over here to drag these around. Or you can go down and drag, there's a bar here you can see that says hidden, uh, hidden items. You can drag them below this bar or above this bar to arrange what is actually visible right here in your quick toggles. Very, very nice feature. There's some customization that you can do on this model that you couldn't do before. If you go into settings, you can actually change around your theme. So go down to personalize, go to theme, and these are some color, different, different color palettes that you can use. So right now I'm using one that has, you know, green accents. You can see this in the, in the menus as well. Um, if you go into themes here, you can change this around a bit, experiment with different combinations. Some of them are pretty good. Doing this will make everything kind of an all black color. You use this one, apply, and you get more of a uh, more purple accents you can see here. So play around with that because um, the HUC is giving you more freedom to actually use um, some more color and just kind of make the device feel more like yours. Another thing you can do is you can adjust the fonts. You go down into gestures. Um, this is actually also a screen where you can adjust if the, the, the motion gestures I showed you from before on the lock screen. You can turn those on and off. So if you don't want to use those at all, just go in here and uncheck this box for motion launch gestures. You'll never have to use it again. Um, but you can change your font by going into the screen and then going to font style. You can use um, LCD, you can use this one. These are actually um, kind of interesting. This will change everything. This will change your icons, this will change blink feed. And you can also download more, as you can see, if you go back down into um, gestures which was right here, and go to um, font style. You can download more online, which is, um, which is really nice to give you the freedom to do that. You can change your font size as well, if you feel so inclined. Um, so these are just some of the features that you can, you can use on your, um, on your new HGC One M8. Um, for the full tutorial, check out HGC One Soft Modder. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.